Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Leaf Green we do. In the last part, we took on routes 19 and 20. So yeah, and we made it here to this part of the Seafloor Islands. This is the correct one to go to if you want to catch Articuno. So let's go back, let's go into it and let's hopefully we can solve this puzzle and stuff. Yeah, this puzzle shouldn't take too long, but uh, I think I remember which boulders to push where. So that's like the big thing is just finding what um what we need to push the boulders into like these there's gonna be these little holes on the floor and then the boulders will actually uh go down to the lower floor and stop the crazy uh, fast water current therefore if it's blocked off it makes it it makes the water not so fast so you can actually surf on it and you can get to Articuna then so yeah there's also some items you can pick up too i guess let's start with this boulder right here it's a pretty easy one all i have to do is um just push it to the f up, uh, you know, just push it forward like a couple times, one more than a couple, and then push it to the right like that, or left. Dang it, that's the left. I forgot what left and right were. Jeez. And you'll need strength and surf, and I think that's about it. Yeah, my pull off uh, was actually still lingering on from the last part, so that's why it ran out so quickly. Because I was just finishing it up its effect, I guess. Here's an ice heal, very worth picking up, I guess. Cause there's gonna be Pokemon, I think, that know at least a reward beam in this uh, in this uh, dungeon or whatever. So, yeah. Let's see here. Um, I think there's a boulder to push here. No, I guess. Um, what if we go down this hole right here? Maybe that's the key. No, we just um, we get sent all the way back. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's over here then? Power's effect off again. Nice. Okay, that's well. It's whatever. I mean, my powers were off. I'm trying to think. Um, I think this is where I actually need to go. The, okay, yeah, this puzzle. Yeah, you can go up and down the ladders to reset the boulders if you mess up. So, I guess that's good. I guess we can just push this one right in here. Just right in there. It's like an e it's like an easy one. So they give that one to you basically. Yeah, okay. And I'm gonna move this boulder out of the way so it's not in the way of, you know, moving any of these two boulders. Um, I think we have to move this one on the left. Yeah, okay, I have to be careful though. Yeah, see if I just push it to the left like that and then push it down, I should be okay. I think there's one boulder I missed at the beginning there, but we can check to see if I'm. I forgot I had my pull off, so I kept on going for a step or two, and that's why I went to the extra wild encounter. I think there's one boulder I'm missing, so. I almost got it all. Wow. That was it. Wow. Okay. So, uh. I guess we can, uh. I can. I guess I can do a save state here, I guess, because I don't exactly want to save right here. So, let me do that real quick. Okay, so. I did a save state. Um, I guess I can stick with Starman being up front. I have, uh, I think like 20 Ultra Balls or something like that. Yeah, 23 Ultra Balls, 23 Great Balls, and uh, 18 Puck Balls. And I don't recommend you use your Master Ball on this Articuno, but you can if you want. Go! Okay, so if I mess up, I can just reload the save state, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Let's go for the Thunderbolt on this thing. Hopefully it won't one-shot it. It's 10 levels ahead of uh, Starman here, but uh, it shouldn't really, yeah, it shouldn't really want to kill it. Like, it's giving us agility. Okay. It's going to raise its speed by two. Cool. Let's go for the Ice Beam. Oh, uh, yeah, no, uh, why did I say let's go for the Ice Beam if, you know, Articuno is the one attacking? Wow, I'm, I, I'm just out of it, I guess. Anyway, let's hopefully get this thing down to, um... Uh, let's go for a, a water pulse. I think a thunderbolt might faint it, so or another thunderbolt might faint it. So yeah, it's gonna be surrounded and missed. Okay, cool. Let's go for the uh, water pulse. Hopefully it doesn't confuse it. I'm hoping it yeah, good, good. Okay, so do I have any moves that can? S Looking at my team, do I have any like moves that can put all put to sleep or anything? I don't think I have sleep powder on giant green anymore. So no, no. No, no, and no, and no. 
Well, okay, so I just have to start throwing Ultra Balls out, I guess. Because of the red health. So yeah, let's go for the Ultra Ball then. First Ultra Ball, let's see if we catch it. Nope, it popped it right back, it popped it right out. Can use another Ice Beam on Starman here. Okay. Let's go for another Ultra Ball. One. Dang it. Oh man, okay. Let's get his Mind Reader. I think it takes aim, so that means the next attack will not miss. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like walk on. So. Trying to walk on and use Ice Beam, I guess, on Starman for the next turn. Okay, didn't, that one didn't even shake once either. Okay. It's gonna, agility, it's gonna use agility to miss if it's speed some way. That's fine by me. But also, you wanna make sure Articuno doesn't. Or any of the legendary bites for that matter, or any legendary, they don't run out of PP so that they you struggle and they can just like hurt themselves for recoil damage or whatever. Because struggle, you hurt yourself too. That's when you have no PP on any of your moves, you know? So I want to keep in mind of that too. So yeah. Oh man, it popped out. He's missed. This guy surrounded itself and missed again. That's pretty cool, I guess. Let's go for the Ultra Ball. Wow, dang it. It's not shaking at all now. Okay, this Ice Beam may faint Starman, although Starman could survive it. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go for another Ultra Ball. Dang it. Let's get his Mind Reader again to take aim. Even though you know Ice Beam has really good accuracy anyway, as it is. I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna complain actually because the Articuno is just, you know, letting me have another shot at the Ultra Ball here. One, two, three, and click. Awesome, we caught Articuno. This is my first take too. Awesome. So nice. Articuno was caught. Data was, the Articuno's data was added to the Pokedex. Nice. Okay, Articuno number 144 in the Pokedex. Articuno, of course, the Freeze Pokemon. It's um, it's five foot seven, so five feet seven inches tall. I'm five foot six and a half, so it's like half an inch taller than me. <laughs> it weighs one hundred twenty-two point one pounds. It's um, you know, it's it does look like a claw. Kind of looks like a Triton or something from like uh, King Neptune or something. You know, I don't know. Um, yeah, a legendary, a legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear in doomed people. Who have lost? Who are lost in the icy mountains? Gee, why well, haven't done that before? Like Pokemon Mission Ninja Warrior Rescue Team, where Cody and Steven were in the Mount Mist Mount Freeze, and then the Articuno was trying to like hurt them to like they totally just like die basically. <laughs> oh well, give a nickname to Articuno. Sure, we can give it a nickname. Let's name this um Ant R. Tika, does that even fit? Yeah, it does. Antarctica. I don't think I'm spelling that right, but oh well. We're gonna spell like that. <laughs> I was placing box one. Antarctica was placing box one. Okay, cool. Now we can actually use an escape rope, which we haven't used an escape rope in a long time. We have like five of them, right? No, we have seven escape ropes right now, so let's use one. We used an escape rope, yay. Or I used an escape rope. Steven used it, nice. So now, let's see here, yeah, none of my Pokemon fainted, wow, okay, um, let's see, Rock Tunnel, so we want to go next, because that's what Zapdos is, okay, and, uh, let's see, how many Ultra Balls do I have left, we have 15, I don't think we have to go back to, and buy some more, actually, that's good, we caught it in like 8 Ultra Balls, that's not so bad, because I think we started with 23, and now we have 15 or so. So that's pretty cool. Let's get back to the Pokemon and I'm gonna heal real quick and we're gonna show off for the Articuno, I guess. Yeah. There are some items I probably missed in the C4 on my ones, but that's okay. I don't wanna go back and get them, you know. I just wanna catch the Articuno really. And get whatever items I like, stumbled upon, I guess. So let's uh, go to Steven's PC first. Well, I don't think I have to deposit any items really because I have, yeah I know I okay cool just checking I guess now we can go to the actual Bill's PC and we can move Pokemon but like just see the summary and all that 
So it's summary, I guess. Uh, naive nature, medicine for my own to level 50. Uh, Con Ultra Ball, of course. Uh, it has the ability pressure, which raises the foe's PP usage. Instead of using one PP for each move, you would uh, be using two. So, for like example, if you really use like, something like Fire Boss that has 5 PP, that means you can only use Fire Boss like uh, two, two times, really. Well, three times, I guess, out of the five. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's attack is 102, it's defense is 118, it's t special attack is 102, it's special defense is 124, and it's speed is 108. You know, it's missed agility, mind reader, and ice beam. Cool. So yeah. How many- what's my Pokedex right now? How many Pokemon have I caught? 29, okay, cool. It's pretty cool. So now we're on Route 10 actually again. And let's uh, take on the Surf right here. Because I know there's a trainer down here actually too we can battle. So let's use another pill. Down to 30 repels, nice. Oh, it still lingered or did I just click out of it too fast? Yeah, it still lingers from the last one. Okay, cool. The other one still lingers. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> it um, got repelled of it. It got it off really quickly after that. So I have Stormman up front again. Okay, that's cool. I think this guy's like a Rhydon or Rhyhorn and Lickitung. So I'll keep, um, I guess Starman up to the front. Let's take you on. Uh, wow, you came all this way here. Maybe you're, you're Pokemon Nick too. Uh, want to see my collection? Sure, why not? Sure, we can do that. Pokemon Nick Mark sent that right on. Okay, cool. It's level 29. Nice. Let's use, um,. It's just Water Pulse on this thing. I don't think a uh, Surf. I think a Water Pulse will even faint this thing because it's four times with the, you know, Water type moves. It's level 29. It goes down easily. Nice. Um, Wicked Tongue. Okay, I'll stay in. This Wicked Tongue is level 29. Let's go for the Surf attack. I hope this one can one hit KO it actually. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Your Pokemon training mark or Pokemon Maniac mark. Hmm, I'm not angry. Okay, you sound angry though. <laughs> Thanks for the $13.92, man. Here's the power plant, which where Zap produces at. So, yeah. I'm gonna switch to, um. I'm gonna switch to Firefox, I guess, for this one. Because uh, electric type Pokemon, like, you know, Pikachu. And Magnemite will be here, and I think if you're playing Pokemon Fire, you'll get your own Electra Buzz, Electra Buzz here. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so I'm in the part right here. So this is another my Pokemon Leaf Green redo walkthrough part. In the next part, we'll take on the Power Plant, and maybe we can even try to catch Zapdos in the same part like we did here with Articuno. That'd be cool. So yeah, so this has been Jaco again. I would like to thank you for watching. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time my Pokemon Leaf Green redo walkthrough guide.